aging face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? Zen Welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with Joe's World of Course, Scarender. And sorry about, of course, the screen preview here. I didn't necessarily think about, of course, previewing, of course, the screen lock before I just started recording, so that's why it looks really weird. But anyway. So my opponents here, of course, Nasser, along follower, along the follower from, of course, the MNBA Ali. I was going in the previous generation, of course, Oras. Um, I never beaten him before. He's a very, very strong player, and he's bringing Lizanne Rock, Hexers, of course, the islands he had encounter, uh, Arcanid, Vicavolt, Desidui, and Pukumuku. So a really, really interesting team, and uh, they were basically here. I had no idea what he was going to try to do. I felt it was definitely a slower team with, of course, Lysandre Rock and Haxorus. Standing out is a bit of a faster Pokemon. The other one is definitely slow, and it's a bit more bulkier. And, of course, Stealth Frogs is prevalent, but, of course, like Lysandre Rock, it just works. And uh, I, myself, is using Decidueye, Primarina, Manibus, Gigalith, Alolan Dug Trio, and Stoutland. And all I'm really going to do here is I lead off with Decidueye and hope that... Um, it basically works because uh, he's freely up to, of course, set up rocks. I really don't have uh, necessarily a way of stopping him. And I don't want to set up the Sandstream if his Lusanne Rock is active because that means that that Pokemon can probably hurt a lot of my Pokemon really well. And I'm not looking forward to doing that. So, anyway, with, of course, all of this said, let's see how this battle wins. So, right, from the get-go, though, I will, of course, start with Decidueye as he will start with Lusanne Rock. Now, Lysandrog is a Pokemon that will get up rocks, so there's no way working around it. The only thing I can do is actually go for Spirit Shackle, basically forcing him to stay in and not be able to set up himself for once again, hoping I can win the matchup. Now, he does decide to switch out going directly to Haxorus. Bit lucky for me, I didn't go for a Leaf Plate or anything like that, but I was definitely feeling he probably is Sash, so it would be kind of well done. And the Spirit Shackle is, of course, forcing Haxorus to stay in. Now, Haxorus can't necessarily do anything to me, Though I am predicting the Dragon Dance, which he won't do. He actually goes directly for the Rock Slide and get, of course, that super effective damage on me. Should be said, of course, Manibus, super bulky, can definitely take on that, you know, without setup. But it still is one of those situations where I don't necessarily want to deal too much with Hexers. It's a Pokemon that naturally forces me out, as he's going to bring, of course, his uh, Xanarok as I go for Roost, predicting another Rock Slide or Dragon Dance. Basically, I want to kind of go for Foul Play. And I will do that now, though, predicting that either going to attack me or he'll go for a Swords Dance. He does decide to go for a Swords Dance, which is great, because that means the Fall Play will bring him down to the Sash that I was predicting. And uh, at this point, I was basically like, yeah, Stone Edge probably won't kill me, but I won't necessarily appreciate that damage. I'm better going to Dug Trio, which, of course, is named Kylo Ren. And um, basically, the reason I did this was because while I'm not bulky, or Dug Trio is definitely fresh as all hell, Stone Edge is 4 times resisted, so I should be able to at least take one of those. Now, it does optimize to go for a Sucker Punch here over, of course, uh, uh, predicting the Accel Rock, actually, though I do not have speed, actually. I don't know, actually know why I did that. Um, anyway, I force which out, Pukumu comes in, and he goes for a bad Pass, and I was like, okay, I have no idea how to deal with that Pokemon. I have seriously no idea, as he gonna bring on his own Decidueye, and I just go for a Spirit Shackle here. I am luckier to speed because we're both are offensive, and clearly it's enough to actually want to kill another Decidueye, so that's definitely, you know, that's new, haven't seen that one before. So he'll bring Hactress here, and I was feeling, alright, here comes the Dragon Dance, it's either that, or he's gonna go for a stab hit with, of course, Dragon's Soul or Outrage, so I'm bringing Primo Nira here, basically trying to soak something, as luckily for me he just decided to go for Dragon Claw. That means that I can fire off a Specs Moonblast without any issue here. He has, does not have a Pokemon that can resist that damage output. As he's just bringing Arcanid, and as I said here, it's a Specs Moonblast. Well, of course, this Pokemon Arcanid is super bulky. It's not that bulky, and that damage output is just insane. And the Dark Rain is going to drop. There is no way working around it. And uh, yeah, I felt really good at this point. Now, here's the thing. He brings back, of course, Pukumuku. And I didn't want to fill my um, Primarina anyway. I did expect Moonblast to just kill it. So I have to switch out as um, he actually goes for Memento. Now, that's dangerous. Got, that means that I am now weakened. But not only that, it means that whatever comes in can set up. And I was basically thinking, 
don't bring hexers, don't bring hexers. He brings a Vicavolt. I was like, oh no. It's the agility set, and I have nothing to hurt this guy. I'll just go for a U turn here. But yeah, I do get a lucky crit here, which clearly might not matter too much, but at the same time, it's definitely unfortunate. And I will just bring my Vulcan. And like I said there, I was feeling it's either not set up or attack me. Either way is really fine, as Agility is the better of the two, because that means that since I'm a Salt Vest for some reason, that I should be able to go for an explosion, and basically from there I should wrap up with Southland. Now, Energy Ball do not do over 50% due to a Salt Vest, and of course the Sandy Mind, and Explosion is a clean KO, and that's gonna knock out the Vicka Bolt. Now, I will say this, I think... My opponent definitely did a very, very risky play there, and it almost was rewarded. It almost was rewarded. So anyway, his last two Pokemon is still the Sandrock, and of course the Hexers. And due to me carrying Stoutland, or Fourth, there is just no way for my opponent to actually win in this matchup, because the damage output is just up there. Now, he actually wasn't Sandrush, just gonna have that said. Because, of course, in the sand there, that thing could have been dangerous. So anyway, Hash is going to come in, and like I said there, there is no way in hell he's going to take this damage output, and he will just be flattened. So, Nasser, thank you, of course, so much for this battle. I found a very, very straightforward, very, very interesting game, even though it went so fast. Should also be said that uh, my opponent actually went for uh, uh, a C-move memento with Pukumuku. That was his whole gimmick. Uh, while it didn't matter all that much, it should be said to everyone that if you go for C-move, with the Memento, the game actually crashed, or the Wi-Fi battle crashed, which is just very strange. I had no idea about this. But other than that, I thought the game was very, very interesting, and uh, while I never necessarily lose momentum, it's only due to me playing defensively and making the force switches. And sometimes that works too, just that you have the defensive capabilities of soak ahead and that retaliate. Um, Luzanarok, for example, can be extremely dangerous with a sword stance behind it. And it just might have worked, actually, of course. It didn't go for a Fire Fang. Had it done that, that would have knocked out my Dug Trio. And then I'm not so sure I would have a proper switch in. I could potentially be swift with that with Sandrock, in theory. Uh, so I think my opponent played a very, very great game. And the first time I winning against him, so I was actually kind of glad about that. But to be honest, it was it was just a, a showcase of, you know, offensive brawn. And I think my opponent showcased what he wanted to do. He didn't necessarily have the means to knock me out outside of the Sandrock. And once... That mom was, of course, down for the count, and I was setting up sand. There was just no way for my opponent coming back. Though, Vicka Volt with LG, that's so great, so awesome. And, oh, you know, Pukuruku, such a strange mon, you know, I, I love it. It's one of those really, really strange mons, really. Uh, but anyway, guys, I want to thank you, of course, for watching this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure to leave a like and stuff like that. And also, happy Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Take care, and I see you in the next video. Bye.